Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we're going to go over how to create an ASMR video inside Adobe Premiere Pro, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. My name is Jock Fairley, I'm a freelance videographer, photographer and video editor, helping you take your videography and video editing to the next level. And if you want to help the production of future content on this channel, you can donate through the link in the description below. The amount you donate is up to you. So, how to create an ASMR video. Now I want to preface this by saying, you have to capture, since it's such an intense like audio and sometimes visual video heavy, like visual and audio heavy, you have to get it right the first time. There's a saying within the filmmaking community or workspace, whatever you want to call it, you cannot fix it in post. There's a lot of people who get into videography and, and the filmmaking industry and seem to think that, or even YouTube, that they can fix it in post. They can only do so much in post. You know, there's some things, like look, I've got, I recently got a new camera. Like, if I focus here, or here, like, I'm not in focus, you know, like, you can't, you can't fix bad focusing in post, so you have to fix it, I got focus like me, there we go, you have to fix it, you have to go and read shoot it, that's what I'm trying to say, so, make sure, double check that your audio, especially your audio, because audio is harder to fix in post than the visuals, so make sure that your audio and your visuals are on point, and if you're good to go, let's jump straight into this. So, how do you create an ASMR video? Now, what you're going to do, you can either do this two ways. Most ASMR videos use a green screen, whether like, I don't know, they're in a doctor's appointment, or they're in a shoe cleaning, whatever business, or they're outside in the desert. You know, you need a green screen, and they can do that physically, like, you know, I am here recording myself, like, with a green screen behind me. With that, you want to make sure there are no wrinkles, and that it's evenly lit, otherwise you're going to have clipping in your video. But you can also do it digitally. Now the way that you do it digitally is by is by searching up a green screen on YouTube and then just getting one of these. So as you can see here, I've got a random green screen video. It just, it just has to be a green, green like colour palette. So make sure you've got a green image that you can put behind your actual video when you're recording it and you can do it like that, you can do it digitally. So once you've got your green screen footage, input it all into Adobe Premiere Pro and let's get started. So Let's start with the visuals. So say I haven't got any videos of me on a green screen personally, so I'm just going to show you how to remove the green screen on Premiere Pro. It's, it's pretty simple. So all you're going to do, say this is your footage, you've got your green screen and your 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 face is there, you've got your green screen. All you're going to do is drag it onto the timeline like that and you're going to zoom in to wherever it is. I've got an example of King Kong right here, let me just scale it to frame size. As you see, that, that would be me, or that is you, you know, you've got a green screen behind you, so. We've got King Kong here, all we're going to do is come up to Effects, and once Effects loads, we're going to search for Ultra Key. Now, what Ultra Key is going to allow us to um, get with the background, so all we're going to search is Ultra, not a double L, Ultra. And then you can see here, under Video Effects Key, we've got Ultra Key. So if we drag that onto the actual video clip itself, the effect will apply if we come up to back to editing here and we come up to the top left preview menu you might be here you click effect controls and make sure you've got your clip selected and then you've got your effect controls scroll down to where the effect is ultra key here and then all we're going to do is come down to where it says key color here and then we're just going to click the eyedropper here we're going to come over to the other preview window and all we're going to do is click the green area and as you see the green screen is gone it's completely disappeared. Now obviously you'll be there and you can play it and your video will play and stuff like that but we've got just a still image of King Kong because I don't have any um, videos, green screen videos of me personally so that's how you get rid of a green screen inside Adobe Premiere Pro whether it's like a digital green screen or a um, physical green screen. If you want to put a background on so all you're going to do is drag your clip up onto the second track here um, you're going to drag your image of whatever you want to use. You can use a video behind yourself or whatever you want to use. I'm going to use, for example, I'm going to use my sexy face right here. We're just going to extend it right there. And as you can see, my sexy face is behind uh, King Kong. And because we got rid of the green screen, it's just him and me chilling out. Uh, in the pond or in central Manchester. So, as we see, you, you can do anything. You can you can even do a video. We drag the video of me here, um, and we right click. If that if this ever happens, you see you've got these black bars. All you've got to do is right click, 
Come down to where it says scale to frame size, click that and it scales it to the frame size. <laughs> if you hit play, as you see, I'm playing and King Kong is there idly pushing something, I don't know why he's pushing. But that's the same premise on how to, you know, put anything behind you once you've got rid of your green screen. So, now moving on to audio. How do you actually get rid of all, like enhanced audio or repair broken audio? And that that's links back to the first thing that I was saying. Make sure your audio there we go. Make sure your audio is good because if you have bad audio, it's going to be very, very difficult to um, fix it in post. Now, there's Premiere Pro does have some good features, but it's not the best when it comes to fixing audio because it's like a general video editing software. If you want something that's you know full on deep dive, I would suggest you use uh, Audacity. Audacity is a free software that you can use, like an audio recording software, and you can. A lot more, there's a lot more options for editing and fixing the audio rather than Adobe Premiere Pro. But that doesn't exclude Adobe Premiere Pro. So we click our clip and we come up to here next to effects audio. If we click audio, it's going to load up the little audio on the side. So as we see here, we can edit here. If we hit dialogue, because we're going to be talking in the video, you can hit repair and that's going to expand this. Then depending on what kind of like noise or background noise you've got, will determine what you use. So if you've got like general noise like uh, children talking in the background or your dog, you know, be making background noise, just barking. So if you drag it to the left, yeah. it's not gonna really do anything. And if you drag it to the middle, it's gonna be getting rid of a little bit. But if you drag it all the way to the right, it's gonna go all the way to 100% and get rid of most of it. But it's also gonna damage the audio for the main, for your main voice on the main track quite a bit. So try find a middle ground around about eight seven eight otherwise you you know you get rid of the background noise but you're also not hurting yourself too much now if you want to enhance your audio if you come down to clarity which is right under repair we can come down to presets it's going to add a preset to the audio it's going to make it sound a certain way so if we click here we've got all of these options now from my experience podcast voice is the best out of the rest of them it's got that it's got like a really nice like audio i don't know kind of like sound to it if you select it and you play it you can hear it like you can and you can change the amount as well if you select your effect you can also change the amount how present it is like how much it's going to you know be there so if we drag the amount all the way up to 10 it's going to bring these audios all the way up but if we drag it back down to about five or even all the way to zero it's not going to apply the effects call because it's at zero but if we drag it all the way up to about five it starts to have you know solid effects so if you play it you can hear you might not be able to hear but you can hear these like um you can hear an enhancement in the audio mess around with some of the other presets to see if, you know which one sounds better for your voice because everyone's got their own voice and this was a requested video on the channel if you have any more requests leave it below now i had a question about 4k video um i recently upgraded my to my new camera the nikon z6 this does 4k but the thing with 4k video is that it is very very hefty on your storage for about five minutes you're probably looking at like i'm not sure like probably 50 gigabytes like it is it, 4k footage is cinema quality so you need a lot of footage i mean storage to store your uh, 4k footage and if your computer isn't powerful, like pow mine's powerful but not really powerful to handle 4K footage, you're not going to be able to edit within Adobe Premiere Pro. But you, you could create, create proxies, but that's quite a long process. You'll have to leave it overnight so Adobe Premiere Pro can create these, take these massive files and compress them down to a proxy file so you can edit it, so your computer can actually handle it instead of turning your um, computer into a barbecue grill. But apart from that, that's about it and how to, you know, edit a general ASMR video. You can edit the audio, you know, I've showed you how to get rid of the green screen. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the bell. It's been, I've been, it's been a, honestly, it's been a long day and I'm just losing my words right now. So if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications for to get notified every time I upload. And if you want to help support the channel, Go leave, go donate, go donate some money if you want to the future production of more videos. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video.